All right, let's get back to it. It says the quotient of a number m and the number l. So here we're not even dealing with any numbers. Um, and I think that for, uh, for most students, that makes it really difficult to understand. They're like, why, you know, why are we doing math? There's no numbers and stuff. Blah, 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 blah. Well, <laughs> it's really important. The main concept that we want to understand is, you know, what exactly is the quotient telling us? Because that's what we want to conceptually understand. So the quotient of a number, remember, we've already dealt with product, which is multiplication, sum, which was addition, and difference, which is subtraction. So the quotient, we know there's going to be division. So automatically, whenever I'm reading something, I hear quotient, I'm going to want to write the division symbol. So then it says I want to find the quotient of a number m and a number l. All right, now let's just say it was, let's find the quotient of 8 and 2. All right, and let's just pretend it was 8 and 2. Well, then we'd write 8 divided by 2. So in this case, even without any numbers, we're just going to write the quotient of a number m and the number l is m divided by l. Okay, so just make sure you write that first number first divided by your last number when writing the quotient of the two numbers. And again, if you're having trouble with it, put some numbers in there that would help you make sense with it. But you don't need to. You can just leave them as variables.